All right, what is good, my dudes? Welcome back to another episode. Today, uh, at episode number 20, I believe. I wanted to do a little bit more PKing. There's currently an edge hotspot left for almost two hours, so we can make good use of that time. But first, before we get into that, um, I want to quickly do some rolls again. See if we get anything interesting enough. Why do I do one by one? I don't know. Could have just done that in the first place. It's okay. Nothing too special so far. Mystery bag thingy. Dragon Claw, some blood money, and boxes, a brackish blade, that's a bit of a rip. And we have a Derek's plate, we can sell some AGSs. Oh, it's the left point mystery boxes I need to put in. I've been doing a lot of raids, you guys will uh, see that in the future, because I'm basically working on a loot from 500 Grandmaster Chambers. So I won't spoil too much about that yet, but uh, I've been making money from that in between videos and such. Derek's plate body, I think that can sell for about 3.5 as well. And yeah, today we're going to be doing some PKing with a Dragon Hunter Lance. And I have done that before in the past. I've PKed with a Dragon Hunter Lance plenty of times. It's a very good weapon. But as you guys know, in the recent video, we have unlocked the uh, upgraded version, the Dragon Hunter Lance Eye. So I wanted to, you know, go ahead and use that specifically today. Let me go ahead and grab it from the bank real quick. This bad boy, the Dragon Hunter Lance Eye. Slightly better than a regular Dragon Hunter Lance, has some pretty juicy stats as well. So I wanted to go give that a go today. As a special attack weapon, we'll be using that as a switch. It looks fucking epic, and I can't wait to see what it can do. Let's have a quick look at the max hit with it. Regular hit, looks 66. What? Hold up, let me get the enchanted heart on top of it. Put a little bit of stat boost in case it's not the full max hit. Okay, it is. And it can spec a... 85 bloody hell mate this is gonna be something uh, pretty goddamn interesting before we do that let's quickly open this price chest or a uh, mystery chest more fun than selling it eh? whoa two crests that's uh, decent no rares though give me a little crest bearer piece please uh, this trade bags that's unlucky all right cool i'm gonna go make some preparations and then we'll do a little bit of pk and a lot of you guys have mentioned before that you would really like me to see, uh, you would really like to see me use the Inquisitor Mall. Unfortunately, at my current bank value, that's just something I can't afford to do yet. But it is something I really want to use in the future, as I've never used that weapon before. Just one of those things that I would rather not spawn in, like in the last video, the Saldo with the Mad Hatter. Like we're still using that pet now, but it's one of those scenarios where a brand new item just came out, and I want to be able to showcase that kind of stuff. But when it comes to something like the Inquisitor Mall that has already existed for quite a while, I would just rather not. I would rather buy it myself and use it myself and all of that stuff. So I'll be trying to save up for it over time and hopefully we can make a uh, PK video with that in the near future. But yeah, let's go ahead and do some Edgefield Hotspot PKing and hopefully we can get lucky on the caskets. Alright, got a first target right away. I was pretty sure he was looting. At least it looked that way to me. But for those of you that don't know, the Dragon Hunter Lands uses however much special attack you have available to yourself. So you could spec with 100%, although it will cost me 90% because of the Fig Hour Ring. Or you can spec with it at 10%. Both work, it just has a, a change on the accuracy. But that's also why I brought a DDS. Not the most efficient to use 90% of a Dragon Hunter Land spec on one go. And a 72 for the good fight, man. Don't think he saw that one coming, haha. <laughs> I'm not sure what this guy is doing. Just rushing with claws, maybe? I'll teleport right away now, or...? Man, we killed him with a whip hit, okay. Oh, there's our first casket of the day, very cool. Oh, Mr. Australian, good luck to you. Don't kill me instantly. He's dragging us into the ancient crossbow. The old basic combination for range here. So the lovely thing about this spec weapon is, like, right now I'm at 20% spec. I could potentially do just a back-to-back -back spec because of it. I mean, you can do that at any percent, but it's the most efficient way of doing it. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. Couldn't even teleport in time. Damn, okay, great. Uh, what I wanted to say was, you have the potential to do that. For only 20% spec, you can literally use it back-to-back. -back. Pretty damn strong. I should have paid a bit more attention not to die to that, though. Alright, Mr. BMS, BMS, BMX, good luck. I'm gonna need this uh, lance of mine to do a little bit more than it has been doing so far, though. Where are those 85s that I was hitting on the max dummy at? Huh. Go for it again. Good 
fuck. Enough to kill right there and another casket. Also my cursor is acting the fuck up. It keeps like, even when I'm not moving, where the cursor still moves, like even though I'm not moving the mouse. Shit annoying. Hey, we have Mr. Mickey Mouse in the house again. Good luck, sir. Starting off strong, I see. I kinda wanna get like a big DDS into the lands, but the DDS ain't hitting much either. Hey, we got him with the lands. Ooh, love to see it. Alright, good luck Mr. Australian again. Mr. Overpowered Ranger Boy. 361 for the good fight there. No casket, but still pretty good. Lots and lots of fights right now ending in stalemate where no one dies. Bit unfortunate because uh, we're 20 minutes in already. And I'm not like that, I want to see more caskets. Really? Come on, just hit another 70 plus. Oh, that works, I mean. He was only 59 HP and that managed to do the trick. Lovely. He had a Temple Orb as well, so we'll take that. For Aussie Boots as a bonus. I don't think Dragon Fire Wars are even worth looting, to be honest, but we can go for 2 and 1. Good luck, sir. Why did my Venge not go off in time there? Like, come on. Should have been a kill, especially with a 76. Can't say I'm disappointed by the land so far. It's been hitting pretty fucking good. 63 again. 48 for the kill. Good fight, man. Back to back, no casket, unfortunately. We have Mr. Shampoo again. Pretty sure no one died last fight. Oh, he even skulls for me. I appreciate that, sir. It's a respectable thing to do. Fuck me. Give me a little scare right there, bro. DDS go! A four, okay. Ooh, what a risk. 66 for the kill, but he easily could have killed me if I had hit any less. Good luck Australian again. I'm so busy trying to PJ another fight. Whew, got him with a little poke. Very clean. I don't know, man. I, I really enjoy the Dragon Hunter Lance, whether it's a regular one or this one. Like, I don't know if it's because you can spec so often with it, but it's just such a good fucking weapon. It's so strong. Even if I fail a few specs here and there, it, it makes up for it, you know? Oh, it feels so good. Alright, good luck, Mr. Bites over here. Lance couldn't finish it off. The DS, uh, DDS spec was half decent though. Night Terror is raining drops again. I really hope he hit my Venge. He double zeroed. <laughs> now? Oh, that's so smooth. Just needed a little 59. Unlucky. Ah, oh, he out. Alright, 30 minutes in. We've only had a few caskets so far. I would like to change that. 69. Nice. Holy shit, Eldemol incoming. Okay, okay, got lucky. Jesus Christ, he woods back a 60 claws. Damn, didn't expect that. Only Ranger, good luck, sir. Boom. 17. Psh. Why are you moving so much, bro? Just stand still. A 1980. Okay. <laughs> That's how he dies. Okay, well, I'll take it. Alright, good luck in the next fight. Good fight. No way! No way! Come on. <laughs> Lance, I thought you would do better. And a 6 on 24 HP. I see how it is. It's Mickey again. Don't 60 claw me, please. At least he has a sense of humor about it. I like that. Good fight, sir. Already got me once a few minutes ago. That's enough. Finally out of tier 4, so now we can start upgrading the tier 6s. Unless we die a bunch, you never know. Good luck, Australian. Poke streak. Pew, pew, pew. Man, we keep fighting the same people. I really believe Ryan should add the spring tokens to uh, edge hotspots, or to hotspots in general. Because these are way too dead. People just don't feel like they're profiting off of this. Fighting the same people over and over gets a little stale in my opinion. He just whips back my ass, okay. <laughs> oh, he was out of food, but he DM'd. Respectable. And finally we see another casket. Ah shit, we have Fuens over here. 
He's always a very deadly opponent, but also a very great buddy of mine. Like, how do you not die to that, you know? 4 HP. Woo! Got him with the second spec. Good fight, man. And once again, Mickey Mouse. It's every time, bro. I fight this dude so often. Just fight him. Have two or three other fights in between where no one dies or maybe one kill or one death. And then I fight him again, you know? Never ending cycle. Bruv. I'm need to, to die. I need more caskets, please. 65 before the good fight. Ah, it's time to get fucked. Royally. Up my asshole. I have a strong feeling a malevolent warx is gonna pop out. Might be risking a lot, but killing this dude is like fucking near impossible in that setup. At least with what I'm using right now. Of course he... Oh my god, bro, are you kidding me? That is so stupid. Oh, fuck, we have a rematch on top of that. Man. Man. Hey, we have Mr. Rusher again. PJ'd me in my last fight. Oh, come on, that's so perfect as a combo. And then I die to a fucking X. No? Okay, great. But he should have died, damn it. Ah, fuck. Why did I do that? Oh. Not worth. It's not a fair exchange. Alright, Mr. C, good luck. Only 8 minutes remaining. Definitely one of the worst hotspots in terms of casket drops. But hey, that's all out of my control, unfortunately. If we can get 2 or 3 more, that would be great, but very unlikely in those few minutes. Getting a few kills can be rough. 65 regular hit, what? Without the spec, bro, that's crazy high. 55, look at those combos, yeah, you dead. Good fight. Mate for PK, good luck. I'm sorry in advance, because I can tell you're relatively new here. Go for the lands anyway, he Again, hee ah, oh, shit. Boom, 61 poke anyway. And into a 16 spec. The regular hits seem to be doing way better than the actual special attacks. Like, what? Look at that. Just casually hitting 60s. And I want to go for the spec. It's like, yeah, here's a, here's a 20, bro. Enjoy. It's actually insane how high this thing can hit without the specs. Actually ridiculous. Yes, there we go. Another casket. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man, I'm praying so hard for some gold artifacts today. Okay, him with the DDS. Good fight, man. And another casket. Wow, okay. Remember when I said, oh, I hope I get two or three more within the last few minutes? Woohoo! Mr. Sit Down, he ain't sculling. He just wants to risk a 5 below or, you know, the 10 below orb. Is what it is. I just want to get the fights that I can within the time I have left on this hotspot thingy. Shaking my head off. Here, just accept some 60 pokes. 60. He would fence right there. A son of a... Mm, whew, well played. Well played. Lion C. Good luck, sir. You gotta go fast. Three and a half minutes remaining. It's now or never. Let's go for some pokes. 60. Boom. 19. Boom. 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 Don't have time for these games. It's back on the bench. Boom. See, I know I could spec on the bench because it doesn't hit anyway. <laughs> Just don't normal poke on Venge like in the last fight and you're good. Okay, okay. Keep it... Oh, oh beautiful. 63 regular poke for the kill. Alright, no third casket. We could have one more shot here. We're quick enough. So in those last two minutes, who is target? C? C. I see! Come here. Good luck. Gotta go fast. Oh man, don't eat so high. Let me just kill you quick. I have two minutes left. Regular poke. Not good enough. Oh my. I don't even have my mad header pad out. So bad. So bad. Okay. Risk it. Ha, <laughs> double kill. Lovely. He got a blood. He got a casket. And so did I. What? <laughs> 
Wait, if his casket appeared in his inventory before he died, it might be on the floor? Maybe? No, I guess not. Oh, wait, I wasn't fight. No, I was fighting Seed, not sit down. Silly me. Beginner hotspot casket shake in my head. Now, one minute remaining. Come on, this is up or under. Last chance. Come on, I gotta kill someone quick. Yeah, fucking. Yeah. Well, that's range into melee for you. Haha, <laughs> get fucked in a tick. Sit down again. Good luck. Oh, that's huge. And it didn't even get close, but the second one did. Good fight. You good? Are you good, sir? Alright, now on to the tier 8. Let's try and at least get one of the cursed relics. Yeah, 73, that's a good fight, sir. And another beautiful tier 10 at last. I generally always uh, upgrade my tiers one at a time, so I don't have to change my uh, presets too much. CBA dealing. Waited too long. Good fight. Figured I would go for the easy one too. Gonna spec me straight up the bat, why shouldn't I? Hey, got him before he could use his claws, beautiful. I don't have much time left. It does require quite a bit of luck to get a blood casket without the double chance, but we can try. Honestly though, I enjoy the Dragon Hunter Lance. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go for. Because the fights are getting a little repetitive at the moment, but... Even so, Dragon Hunter Lance, great fucking weapon to use. I love this thing. The fact that it's the upgraded version, I, don't, I can't say if I noticed too much of a difference between the two. Might be the fact that the spec is a little bit of a higher max hit and stuff, but... Haven't even gotten close to hitting an 85, I think 79 was the highest we hit. And there we go. Gaskets, please. No. No free granite mace, I'll take that. Mr. to see over here in the ranged getup. DDS go. Oh, that's a sad spec, bro. But that ain't. Another one. Oh, man, this kid need to fuck off, bro. I swear to God. Alright, good fight. Got him. He's out of food. Not sure if he was DMing or if he was about to teleport, but... Good fight nonetheless. The tier 10s are stacking up. Big Bone Reno. Come on, man. It's finally your time to die, sir. I could have sworn I venged before the maze hit, like... I click my venges on time, they're just so hard to time because I had like a one or two tick delay. Bruh. You know what, that was my last 10 bill orb as well, I think we're gonna call it a day here. Just have a look at what we managed to get from all of it. it wasn't too bad as a whole, some okay PKs, nothing too crazy unfortunately, no like... Big one items or anything like that, but... Small stuff adds up, Gmos, DH sets and whatnot. The blood money is okay. Again, I would have loved it if they made it so you got eat or spring tokens during hotspots. That would increase your profit so freaking much. Even if one hour only got you like 5k, that's still like an extra 30 bill on top of whatever else happens during the PKing, right? So that would be huge. We got 5 tier 10s as well. We still have some tier 8s left over for the next time. And we got some juicy caskets that we can open. Where is my precious falcon pet? I'm gonna use that. Let's hope for some actual gold artifacts this time around. Let's get rid of that shitty one first. Only five, but who knows? Okay, that is a god awful start right away. Bro, my luck on these caskets is so bad. Wow. Just, just straight up wow. Last time too, bro. That, that makes a total of 22 caskets and we haven't seen a single gold artifact in. Fuck. So unlucky, man. We're only six off. Six gold artifacts and we can get a first grand promo. And it's just not happening every single time. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's trade in these tier 10s. Yes, yes, you can help me by taking these emblems off my hands. Yes, thank you. Wait, what? I said yes! Come on now. Click too fast. There we go. Tier 10s delivered. Nope, yeah, okay, normal shop. And let's go ahead and buy a Cursed Relic. So, in the end, it wasn't all for naught. We could still have made a little bit of profit here. Cursed Relic, 100, yeah, 17 bill, I'll, I'll put it in for 115. I'll take that. And then on top of that, with the donator tickets and whatnot, the point boxes. Altogether, not too bad. We made a decent chunk of money. And, uh, 
yeah, the Dragon Hunter Lance, it's still a banger. It's still really fucking good to use. If you can't afford the upgraded one to 500 bill item, um, then I would recommend for you to use a regular Dragon Hunter Lance. It, that works just fine as well. Like it's, it's just such a solid weapon. You saw the poke yourself, man. The fact that it can consistently poke those 60s and shit. Fucking ridiculous. We're now in 1.2 trail cash. 1.3 if that uh, cursed relic can sell as well. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. Maybe in a few videos we'll be able to uh, use that Inquisitor Maul, because I'm ooh, I'm so fucking excited to try it out. To end off the video, let's go ahead and do a little uh, claws attempt again. Because I uh, you know, want to do once once a while, just for fun. And it, it, it feels like I'm not wasting it if I keep going. Like, I've already done so many attempts without succeeding once. At least if I do an attempt every once in a while, then I, I feel like... You know, getting it once will at least make up for a bit of that loss. But today is still not that day, so, you know, we're gonna end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll check you all in the next one. Goodbye!